tell us just a wee bit about the film before we get into things, you know, without giving away any spoilers, please. Well, it's about a group of um, kidnappers who were hired by a mysterious client to kidnap a child and nothing is really what it seems in the film and mm -hmm. the whole genre sort of turns on its head because once they get the child back to this very sort of mysterious gothic house, House of Salem, which has sort of a dark history and past, the whole sort of mm -hmm. story turns on its head because you find out the kidnappers have actually been set up by this client in a sort of like sacrifice plot. So it all sort of gets very sort of wicker man and child sacrificey, and um, it's sort of like a twist on that. The, the writing process has always um, fascinated me. What do you, you know, basically, where does your inspiration come from? Well, I've always been a sort of very visual director. So I usually start off with sort of like an image in my head, a really striking image. Um, and I think in this one, it was like the lamb masks and the sacrificial images, mm. which you can see in the trailer. And um, once I've got that image in my head, I sort of, I sort of drive a lot of my other friends mad who, who write scripts, because I don't like doing a plot outline at all, ever. And I just like to sort of start from page one, and I sort of like just write the film from my head, imagining it in my movie, in my head, sorry, mm. imagining it in my head like a movie. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of write from page one straight to the end. And then, because I don't want to know the end when I'm writing, because if I, if I know the ending of the film, I get bored writing it. So oh. I don't know. And people are like, but how do you, what happens if you get to the end and you don't have like a, an ending for the movie? And so far it's not happened, I usually manage to find it somehow. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting way of doing it. I've never heard anybody kind of do it that way before. You had a very good cast. Some, Thank you. some pretty impressive uh, acting. Where, where did you find them? Well, we were we just finished shooting um, Curse of the Witching Tree, and we were thinking about what to do next. And I remember having a meeting with um, a John Campling, who played the priest from Witching Tree. And we were just in Soho talking, and I think we were talking about Cannes and going there for the mm. next film and stuff. And Jack Brett Anderson, who you know he has a very big age, and he's doing really really well. He'd just done. Um, don't hang up in some other films, and um, he's now in Wolf Blood on the BBC, and he was just sort of eavesdropping on our conversation at Soho um, Bar, and then basically he just sort of in, uh, came in and intruded on mine and John Camden's conversation, and we just started talking, and he was, and I saw his show, I just thought it was great, and then he was sort of like a driving mm -hmm. force with me um, to sort of get the film sort of mm. into, into um, production. <clears throat> a lot of filmmakers, especially in the horror, the horror genre, kind of forget that you've got to care about what goes, you know, you, you've got lots of nasty people doing nasty things, but they've got to be doing it to people you care about or you're not invested in the film at all. No, and I think that's a really yeah. important thing about horror films, especially when you've got, um, and I think I was speaking to, you know, your friend of Fred Paul McAvoy, mm. um, you know, horror is one of the genres you don't need lots of money for to make a great mm. film. If you've got the ideas and the mm. characters and the scares in there, you can do stuff on, you know, you don't have to have the biggest budget in the world. Nope. And you can, as long as you've got the talent there, you can sort of yeah. do all sorts of well, stuff. And um, again, if you, and like you said, I think a major mistake a lot of people make in horror films, I'm not saying I'm an expert on anything like that, I'm still very young, but I think lots of people just think horror is just about blood and guts and killing people, and yeah. that's all the end of it. And, and you don't have to have it beautiful like, you know, Suspiria or Dario Argento or Hitchcock or anything like that. They think it's a cheap, tacky genre. It can be done cheaply. We can make loads of money on it. And the cast doesn't have to be anything. Mm. They can just be a bunch of pretty girls running around screaming with, you know, their, their bits all hanging out. And, and that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's true at all. I think the key to a good horror film is making people believe in the characters. Mm -hmm. Because once you believe in the characters, then mm. you're invested and then you're scared for them. Yeah. If, you, if you don't care about, you know, you know, like, Liam Kelly, who played Josh the kid, and mm -hmm. Jess and Jack, if you don't care about them, you're never going to be scared when someone's coming at them with a knife because you say, well, just let them die. Yeah, 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 yeah. you deserve that, yeah. Fine, move on. But so, what's next for you? Um, well, we're editing Black Creek now, so, um, which was a film we went out straight afterwards and we shot in Wisconsin, America, which is all demonic and a bit John Carpenter, the thing, and, and very much like It Follows. It's, it's sort of that sort of a style genre film. Um, one of the things that was really great about, I've definitely seen this film at Fright Fest and the reaction we got was um, the black humour in it seemed to get some of the best yes, reactions. Yes, yes, yes. And it's really frustrating because um, people, I mean, I've been told, like, when I write horror, it's good. But when you write horror comedy, it's epic. And I've been trying so hard to, to, to get to the stage where... Um, we can do an all-out horror comedy. And mm. I think that's really, that's one of the best things I'm looking forward to from Fright Fest is something I've learned, that that's definitely where we need to go. Uh, yeah. And um, the other one we've really got, we've got um, a suburban fairy tale coming out, which is really exciting, because it's a really dark film, and we've got a really, really exciting cast for that. And we've also got Vicky Michelle from LOLO, who I'm, I'm such a geeky LOLO fan, because it's sort of my sort of mm. humour. But it's really dark, it's sort of got incest and Nazis and cannibalism, but it's, got, it's also got a real strong love story to it, mm. so it's a bit like Let the Right One In, and you know, 
me and Foxy, the DOP, we just made it look, it just looks so stunning on the red camera and I just, I'm just so excited yeah. for everyone to see it. <laughs>